<laughs> Woo! Oh man, oh man! Man, can y'all even see me behind this thing? Ah, so big. Anyways, hey, guess what? I'm back, man. Welcome back to the show. Look, I checked the mail this morning. Guess what was in there? Hey, this came from youngster.com. Look, if y'all are not shopping on youngster.com, this thing is so big, it's in my face. <laughs> if y'all are not shopping on youngster.com, uh, you're missing out because you, you're missing out on some good products on the cheap. And that's where I got this from. My boy Jeff told me, uh, check out the website. We've got some new good stuff on there. So I looked at it and bam, I saw this thing. I was like, man, I got to have this. I've been had, I have, I've had my eye on it for about a year now. Um, I had this multi room set up in my house, and um, I was, I wanted to put this in it. Uh, the only thing that really discouraged me is that it doesn't really play nicely. I don't think so uh, with um, the Google Play Music, but everything else it seems to play real nice with. So I decided, you know, maybe there's some updates. Let me pick this thing up and add it to the to the setup maybe in my office. So I wanna see how it works and see how it really sounds because in the stores, you can't get a real taste for how things sound because you know it's, it's such a big, big room. And there's all kinds of other distractions going on. So I got this thing in the house, man. Let's go ahead and take a look around this box, see what we got. It's the Samsung R1 Radiant 360 speaker. Y'all know I got to have that surround sound in one spot, 360, 360 degrees worth of sound coming out of this thing. Let me see, we got touch, uh, intuitive touch controls and tap. Tap and touch, yeah, tap and touch. Uh, let me see here. You, you know what? <laughs> they got that MSRP right there, like bam, okay? <laughs> uh, let me see here. Um, more touch, it tells you what uh, music services it works with. Uh, right out of the box, TuneIn, Pandora, Rhapsody, Amazon Music, that's nice, I do a lot of Amazon. Uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Audio, 8Tracks, and Milk Music, which has been discontinued. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box. Let's go ahead and dig into this thing, man. Let me uh, let me pull out my little unboxing knife here. Get up in this package. All right, I want to show this box some respect, man. But it looks like the mailman was really disrespectful to my box. He was like tumbling this bad boy all, all over the truck. All right, let's see what's in here. Got your little top. And the speaker is right there. Let's set that to the side, see if there's anything else in here. Okay, we got some, looks like instructions or something. I'm probably gonna need those because it's a Wi-Fi speaker and I'm probably gonna need some type of app. We got a, a plug and the other part of the plug. Let me get this box out of the way since it was blocking my view earlier. Now it looks like a little tripod stand. Well, you can actually put this on a tripod if you want to, but probably on your speaker stand like so you can have like mul uh, multiples in a room and you can uh, screw it into the little tripod deal right there or the, um, uh, I forget what size this is, but it's, it's about the size of your standard tripod uh, screw. And then you got a micro, that is, is that micro? Yep, that's micro USB right there underneath this little ledge. And then it looks like probably a reset button. No, um, speaker add Wi-Fi setup button, boom. And then you have a, your DC 19 volt uh, DC inlet right there. We'll plug it in. I'm running the cable through here so it sits flat. So I see this little white light flashing right there. Okay, it's ready. You know what? I think I'm gonna need my phone. My phone is downstairs. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got my phone. You know, I had to run through them Instagram uh, uh, notifications real quick <laughs> before I turn the camera back on, but I'm back. I'm done on Instagram. Man, it's good on Instagram sometimes. Anyways, let me see. Uh, without reading the instructions, let me see if, uh, you know, the average Joe can just kind of uh, hook this thing up. Let me do a little Wi-Fi search on here to see if anything popped up. You know what? Maybe I need to press this button. Let me see. Press the button. Ready to connect. Uh, don't. Ah, wow. It popped up. Okay. Easy speaker setup. Wi-Fi profile. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, let's set this bad boy up. Use my Samsung account. I have a Samsung phone, so this is probably gonna be a lot more seamless than any other phone, probably. Most likely, I'm assuming. Um, it's asking me for okays. I'm just gonna click okay, because if you don't, you can't. So, <laughs> I don't know why they even try you like that. All right, so, is it connected? Let's see. The connection is complete. Wow, okay, I don't know if y'all heard that, but it said the connection is complete. I didn't do nothing. I just, I searched, I hit the button, and then uh, I, I think I saw something, but 
it just popped up and it said hey do you want to connect i said yeah and then it does its own thing man that was nice that was like faster than bluetooth okay so now what um let me just play some music wait for it wait for it okay so it's not playing uh through the speaker just yet let me see tv sound connect is ready okay i, I understand that she has such a sweet voice. Wi-Fi is ready. Okay. I'm hitting the mode button right now. What was that? Did y'all hear that? Mode button. Bluetooth is ready. Wi-Fi is ready. Wi-Fi is ready. Well, if it's ready, I want to connect. Turn this up. Okay. You know what? We're probably going to need some instructions or an app. It's got to have an app. Let me look in the app store real quick. There's got to be an app to this thing. Everything has an app these days. But I really like the design of the speaker, man. Um, it's a very simplistic design. It's got a good weight to it, so it doesn't seem like, and it's got these rubber feet, so I don't think, you know, even on the bass drops, it's going to be like, you know, moving across the table or nothing. It's real stout. I, I just like it. It seems like it would fit anywhere, like, you know, just blend into a room. <laughs> Super easy looking controls, the volume up and down, that's pretty much all you need, man, because everything's gonna be controlled from your phone anyways. And I mean, as far as quality of the build, I mean, I don't think I could ask for much more. I don't see any metal on here, but all of this feels like really high quality. The touch panel seems to be very responsive. Um, I like that there's not a ton of branding everywhere. This That's always nice. So yeah, build quality, I give it an A, 100%, man. So far, Samsung, you are you are doing all right in my book. Let me see if this app downloaded. Okay, got my security check done. Let me open up the app. Samsung Multi-Room. I hate reading, man. They always got some stuff they want you to read and click OK. You know, all this stuff that comes up, <laughs> like, you, like you really read it. All these permissions and stuff, golly. And then you don't give them permission, you can't, if you don't give them permission, you can't use the product. So why even bother? Okay, so now as soon as you open up the app, you actually get some uh, some radio stations. Is this Pandora? It, it actually looks like it's connected to Pandora, but I don't have a Pandora account right now. Let me just play some random music. Let's try Today's Hits Radio. Let's, let's see what that's all about. Whoa, okay. Where's the controls? There's no controls on here. I'm about to get flagged. Come and move that in my direction. Whoa. So thankful for that. Okay. You press the center button, that little white button or light to pause and play. But right off the top, man, I f did you hear the bass come out of this thing? It's got a nice, deep, rich bass sound to it. Is this all the way up? How do you know? Sounds like Morris code or something. Okay, so just hold it. I'm trying to turn it all the way up. Yeah, that's got to be all the way up. I mean, all right. Now, I can only play a little bit of this song because I don't want to get flagged by YouTube, have my video all jacked up. But I just heard that bass drop real quick. Let me see if I can rewind that song. I've never used, oh, there's a controls right there. Okay, so the controls are on the app. Oh, you can't go backwards. You can only go forward. Uh, but this is like Pandora and stuff. So if I was playing like Bluetooth, it'd be different. Let me see. Turn every situation into heaven. Okay, I will tell you, <laughs> this thing is loud. I'm gonna run some other tests in my house. I'm gonna plug it up somewhere else, like where I would actually have it and run some tests there where it would be in like a real world environment. But right here sitting in my face, you got plenty of sound and it's not like this raggedy sound. It's actually pretty good sound. Yeah, I like this speaker so far, man. Let's run through some other stuff. Let's, let's, this is Wi-Fi right here, right? So, okay, I don't have accounts in all these things like RDO and all this other stuff. So that's what it worked works like in Pandora. Oh, Fleetwood Mac. Y'all like Fleetwood Mac? Man, I love Fleetwood Mac. Let me see. Dang, you hear that? I don't do sound tests on Bluetooth speakers, but dang. Man, I hope I don't get flagged. 
Okay, so <laughs> that sounded good, man. That, man, that sounded good. Okay, that's Pandora. And that's pretty much how it works. You go through this app. Let me see if I can show you real quick. So you, the app looks like this. And um, you know, you can choose which uh, music service you wanna be in. So if I, I can't really see, but if you just tap one, it, it takes you to that music service to log in. And then when you press the song down there, you can actually go through the songs and see, I guess, album cover or something like that. I'm gonna be jamming some Fleetwood Mac all day. Dream. Okay, I'm not gonna sing no Fleetwood Mac, but man. <laughs> oh man. All right, let me see. Um, let me see. Let's go to Bluetooth. Samsung R1. It just paired itself. I didn't even have to click to pair it. Like it just knows. This thing is like, it's a little too smart, man. This artificial intelligence stuff is going way too far. Let's just go ahead and connect. The connection is complete. Okay, so now we get to play some of my music from Google Play. Fat boy behind a lot of your favorite flows, man. Pay attention. Oh. Ghost Rider, Blood Lighter. Okay, it's loud. It's loud. The bass is present. I can't play too much because I'm going to get... You know what? Let me let me play some Ryan Little. If I play Ryan Little, since you know his stuff ain't copyrighted, shout out to my boy like Ryan Little, man. Check out his tracks. If I play Ryan Little, I can actually play this song, and I won't get flagged. Let me see. Uh, Ryan Little drop top. Oh, this song right here bangs. Hold on. Okay, man, you. I don't do sound test on Bluetooth speakers, but this one got me pumped up. Whoa. Yes. Can you hear that? Ryan Little. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Let me play this Drake one. Okay. Woo! Man, I'm pumped. I love this thing. Turn some more. That's it, right? Brian Little. Okay, I, I do hear. A, okay, I do hear some distortion on that high end of the volume. But who turns it up all the way? There we go. That's clean. That's clean. Yeah, okay. One more, one more, one more, one more. Traffic jam, traffic jam. I like traffic jam. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you can't get down with this jam right here, we can't be friends no more. This is my song. Hey. This is Ryan Little Traffic Jam. You gotta download this, uh, go to his channel, Ryan Little, download this track. This is Traffic Jam. It's one of my favorite songs right now. Let me see, let's play one more song, get a good sample out of this. Sunday Vibes. I like this one too. It's got that Smokey Robinson sample in it. This is a Ryan Little production. Okay, I've heard enough. So this speaker is a win for me. Oh man, get it at youngster.com. Um, it's on the cheap, man. It's like 80 bucks. I think this thing retails for like, I saw it on the box. It's like $120 and you can get it for like 70 or $80 on youngster.com, man. Whoo, I'm gonna go put this in my spot where I'm gonna keep it for real, for real. And uh, maybe I'll throw another sample at the end of this video. Just in case I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff, but you need to get you one of these speakers, man. But before I get out of here, tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, check it out. I decided to uh, put it somewhere in the house where I think I might wanna keep it. I'm gonna replace one of my other speakers with it. Uh, I did notice when I put it on the shelf, I put on that Ryan Little and it, it was thumping, man. Hey, I have to apologize about the audio. I don't have a mic on. This is the camera mic. I'm going to go ahead and crank this thing up so you can see what I experienced just a moment ago. Turn this up real quick. All right, got Ryan Little.
turned up. Here we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Brian Little. <laughs> Okay, so now you know if you put this on a smooth, flat surface um, with a lot of bass, it's going to wiggle a little bit. I kind of like it. I kind of <laughs> like the, the, the extra rumble and wiggle from the bass, man. It's like some haptic feedback, man. You get to see that mug just thumping, but it does sound good in here, man. I, I have wood floors and, you know, I have an echoey kind of house, so it actually does travel through the house really well. The mid, the mids and highs are on point, and the bass is definitely thumping. You will hear distortion on the high end, so you know just crank it all the way up. To if you're gonna crank it all the way up, crank it all the way up, and then back down one notch, and then all the distortion goes away. I will tell y'all probably my favorite feature on this thing, since it's such a smart device. Um, if you you don't have to touch the speaker at all, you you turn it up all the way and just leave it. Everything else is controlled for your from your phone. But my favorite feature, if you want to listen to, if you want to stream from Wi-Fi on the app, you can do that and it'll change over into Wi-Fi mode. But if you want to switch over to Bluetooth, you just connect it via Bluetooth and it automatically switches over to Bluetooth. You don't have to come to this speaker and, and manually do anything. You can do everything switching from different modes uh, from your phone. That is awesome. So that's my take on it, man. Hey, y'all stay classy, and I'll see y'all at the next one.